Hello friends, today we are going to explore basics of intent, entities and actions and parameters. So we will create our fresh bot, create new agent, mm. option It is saving. So for creating a bot, we will first talk about what a user will say, what a user will say and what will be our question. So first we will describe what will be the answer and then question. So we will create a new intent. Name it book room. What a user will say. User will say I want to book room. I want to book hotel, book room, book hotel room, and what will be the answer? Uh, the bot's response will response will be your hotel booking. Request has been received. Has been forwarded to booking department. Let's let test it. User will say book. Room. and it's fine your hotel booking request has been forwarded to booking department so for booking a uh, room we will need a few basic details of a user that what is the username how many rooms he is required and types of room etc so what will be the user's response against username a user will say my name is John, uh, here you can see that uh, Dialoglo has recognized John as a name. What is name? Name is recognized as entity. Here you can say entity. What are entities? Entities are a part of codes. Uh, and Dialoglo has a few built in entities. You can see entities right here like person age url these are built-in entities you are you can create your own entities over here we will explore it in our future lessons uh, i usually will say my name is john and uh, for how many rooms john is required uh, john will say for 540 person you can see that it is also recognizing the number as its built-in entity you can find these entities over here Over here we will mark these entities as required the percentage is for name and number entity, number entity for number of rooms so the answer is here my name is John and where is the question question is over here we will define it in define prompt
we will ask what is your name your name please may i know your name you can add as many responses as you want and against the number of rooms the answer is here for four for three persons the question will be over here define question will be for how many people do you want to book room or how many rooms are required we mark as as required and we will simply save it okay we will also require a user email address so that we can send in qd so the answer will be my email address is john at the rate gmail.com it is not recognizing gmail as email we will do it manually by selecting and typing email over here it is also written in gp and we will also mark is as required and define the prompt is what may i know your email address kindly provide email for information of booking or for booking confirmation okay let's save it and try user will say book a room it is replying may i know your name it is not replying this one it is not replying hotel booking request it is replying this one from here as we have mark is as required he will ask by priority wise as the first one is a person second one is number and third one is email uh may i know your name then you can type uh, alice or simply say my name is alice for how many people do you want to book a room the second question over here we will simply type four people now it is asking me for email over here email is alice at the gmail dot com and here it is your hotel booking request has been forwarded to booking department for making it more realistic as user is conversating with a user they will simply call these basic entities in our response for calling these entities we will use our dollar sign and the parameter name Uh, for example we are using person's name in our example it is alice your alice your hotel booking request for dollar sign and number for three persons has been forwarded to booking department we will contact you on email simply save it now we will take it book uh, hotel your name please my name is uh, john you can type any english name for how many people you want to book a room for for Kindly provide email address for booking confirmation. John at the rate gmail dot com. Here it is. John, your hotel booking request for four persons has been forwarded to booking department. We will contact you on John. 
in this lesson we have just uh, we have learned understand the basic concept of intent and system entities and how to call them in our response by using dollar sign and a few about action and parameters here you can add uh, action name but we will explore it in our advanced lessons that's for it now we will save it and export i will export it as zip and we uh, will deploy it over here here is my first bot in which we detailed we we dis uh, we discussed the hello world hello bot and i will upload this file over here thanks for watching bye bye